With the quick move back into the red tier last week, not all industries were ready to return to indoors at the drop of a hat. Many local gyms had their reopening scheduled for this week after working exclusively outdoors since last summer. Fox 5's Kasha Gogorczyk shows us the work that went into reopening. Really a lot of the gyms we talked to throughout San Diego last week said they wanted to do things the right way and the safest way. So today we got to get a first hand look at some of those updated safety measures as people move to work out inside for the first time in a long time. Treadmills make that change in five, four, three, two, one. Treadmills jump. The red lights, the really loud music, our little safe haven. Um, so people were so, so excited when they heard we were finally going to be able to reopen. Barry's boot camp in Hillcrest. Come on in, come on in. Come joins on in. gyms across the county now able to operate indoors under California's red tier as of last week. Lift the sternum up, get it, 10 five. But it took some time and careful planning to get there. Barry's making the decision to hold off one extra week before welcoming clients back. We have been conservative with our action plan. We're not just jumping into things like ready go packing classes. 15 second break. There's a different layout to allow for reduced capacity and distancing, eliminated touch points at check in and doors, plastic barriers at the front desk, temperature checks, updated air filtration, and it doesn't stop there. We do a cleaning halfway through class too, a quick five minute cleaning too, to really make sure um, that all those safety procedures are in place. Party starts in three, two, one, let's hit it. For those who got used to working out outside or maybe even prefer it. Two more, we're gonna go just our body weight squat. Most days the weather is almost perfect, right? So we have the fresh air, the sunshine, you get to work out outdoors. Sink those hips, good. Those workouts will remain an option. 30 seconds. Gyms like Barry's are thankful to finally be able to take steps forward and now have some of the highest safety measures measures in place for the future. Things are always changing even before COVID. Things change in the world, things change in the fitness industry, um, what people are looking for, what they're interested in. So really that adaptability to take what we're given and work with what we've got. We're going to squat at the top, all right? Right now, indoor capacity at gyms is limited to 10%, but up next will be the orange tier where capacity will jump to 25%. And county officials say we could move into that orange tier as early as the second week of April. Reporting from along the Embarcadero, Kasia Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News.